Earlier today, I met with Vice President Joe Biden over at the White House for an exclusive interview, an exit interview of sorts. And one of the things we talked about was how did working class Joe of Scranton, PA, feel about the fact that so many working class voters went for Donald Trump? Hillary Clinton lost um, in part because of how incredibly poorly she did with a, a voting group that is one of the groups that you speak for and have historically. People used to call you middle class Joe, um, son of Scranton. Uh, and she got clobbered with white working class voters. You've said that post none, you might be the only Democrat elected to the Senate that won white men. Why do you think she did so poorly with white working class voters? Well, first of all, I, I don't think as a party we spent, look, I'm really proud of what Barack and I, the president and I were able to do in the economy. But if you notice the last two years in the president's State of the Union, there's been a shift in the focus now that we got the car out of the ditch and on the road and running on really focusing on the real inequities that exist and still exist for working class, middle class people who are left behind. And, uh, and, uh, and what happened was that wasn't the central part of the campaign moving forward, in my view. Now, I said at the convention when I introduced Hillary and praised her, I said, we don't show enough respect to that group that, in fact, has been left behind. And, and these are people who had uh, good, decent jobs. My, my dad used to have an expression, for real. He'd say, remember, Joe, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about your respect. He did say a lot that the trade deals had sold out the American people and that he was going to bring those jobs back and that he was going to fight for the American worker. That did cut through. That cut through, but there was no detail about any of it. Do you think you could have done a better job? Oh, I don't know. I, they'd probably beat me alive. You know, who, who knows what would have happened. Um, but, uh, um, and, and I really mean that. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, right, right, I learned how to become popular. Now that you're not running for president, and boom, man, you're the most popular guy out there. That's not entirely true. You're being a little, I, I, can't believe that you didn't sit there at times during the campaign and think, ah, Hillary, why don't you say, uh, or you're not connecting with my people. You and President Obama won Lackawanna County, home of Scranton, by almost 30 points. Hillary Clinton almost, she barely won it, like three or four points. Look, again, it was, uh, um, I, it's so easy to go back and Monday morning quarterback. But I'm talking about quarterback and during the game. Well, during the game, uh, we believe that, and one of the reasons the president acknowledged he picked me was because of, I hopefully that I'm trusted or have some connection with with those neighborhoods. Um, but it, I, I, I don't think there's nearly, like one leading Democrat said, by for every vote Biden's going to go out there and get some white guy to vote, I'll get two educated women to vote Democrat. We don't need... There, there, there's this sort of sense that's grown up in the Democratic Party that somehow these folks are... are uh, I mean, these are good people, man. These aren't racist. These aren't sexist. Here's the thing. I've never found, Jake, any difference between the progressive views I have, and I challenge anybody to have a more progressive record than I have on race, women, LGBT, whatever, and union halls. I, I'd go and do these events in Youngstown, and I'd stand up there. You may have covered some of them, and I'd say, we need equal pay for women. And they'd all cheer, because guess what? Their wives work. Their wives work. And they know their standard of living is diminished. I'd stand up and say, look, we have, to, we have to stop the violence on college campuses, and we have to make men stand up and take responsibility. These guys, it wasn't, it wasn't because Joe Biden said it. They cheered. But there's a sense in some of our party that, wait a minute, we either have to be tone down our progressive point of view and ramp up what we're going to do for working folks or somehow talk less about working folks and ramp. It, it, there, there is no conflict the neighbors I come from. None. None at all.